Friends, a man and his wife have been living in the same house with a decomposing cubs, corpse of his late sister for at least three weeks. Now, the actions which have been viewed as cult-like were exposed after the deceased family got concerned over her whereabouts. While who had traveled from her home in Gatundu in mid-January to live with the brother in Akuru before her badly decomposed body was recovered in the brother's house. Ken Gashuhi reports from Nakuru. Behind this closed door and walls lie the tale of 60-year-old Rosemary Wahu, who came here on her feet but today left wrapped in a bed sheet, her death at her brother's house still a mystery. <laughs> at 3 a.m. on Wednesday, Wahu's immediate family and neighbors from her home in Gatundu made an impromptu visit to this home in Nakuru. <laughs> wakatuwa bia hako hai hako mzuri alafu badaya wakasima simu wakafirikiria ebu tusukuja hapa tujue vile kuna endelea hapa tulifika saa kumina moja na foti nikapigia niko simu tukona anti ya kishungulia pale kwa dirisha naya niko tukona tena naya meshungulia kwa dirisha one who came here on January 15th, hosted by her younger brother David Kinyanjui and his recently married wife. The family, however, started reading mischief three weeks ago when Wahu failed to receive their calls. Chimu kanza kusema mteja. Nika pigia niko. Nika muliza bona foni ya madhe ni iko mteja. Nishimu yake ili alibika. Lakini itategene. Kinyanjui engaged the relatives in a cat and mouse game for the last three weeks, a period during which the family has established that she had already died. On arrival here, a false stench confirmed their worst fears in what appears to be a cultic behavior. Auntie Akamuka, Kaomba, 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 Akashema, Tikunamuri, Mekufia, Hapa, Akini Itafuku, Sasa, here, Tukashanga. Hi, Tukona, Wacha, Tuone. Anikuwa Kashema. The body had extensively decomposed with a Bible placed on it. Upon interrogation by angry residents who threatened to lynch them, the couple revealed that they were praying for her resurrection. Aniko ni kamuliza, maya niko, unaweza uwa mamangu. Kanyambia, ushijari, atafukuka makiwa na bibi yake. Yani, muna, ma, yani uh, my mom wana, ana kufia kwa nyumba, muna kula chakula hivi na hii, hii fule hii kitu ya... Ritu wabia nili, ni uh, Pastor Oni, Maken, yeah. na Makensi. Yeah. 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 Diori tukamua tuwede polisi, hiyo ni maneno ya shakahola. The last time she was seen alive was on January 29 when she visited a hairstylist in the neighborhood. Her host unusually turning away neighbors who sought to know the source of the stench. Kuna wa mama wawili about moja alienda kumushuka, alile kasikia, lakini hata kusikia na umelepewa kiti hapa nje, ana akamulisa na nini hiyo nasikia inanuka. Alisema sijui ni nini mambo ya dongi, umigine nae kumuliza na muabia na tinipanya sasa. The couple was arrested and the body moved to Nakuru PGH Annex Mog pending post mortem. The matter is still under investigation. Eh? We took them for interrogation. So we have two suspects a man and a lady. The lady is the owner of the house. So I don't want to uh, talk much about that issue because the matter is still under investigation. Ken Gashohe, KTN News. After the break, is he the preferred successor? Wycliffe and Betsa Paranya 